five games into the National League South, we're shipping more than a goal a game. But we're scoring more than three a match, so on balance, pretty good. Greetings, my excellent friends, and welcome back to episode 29 of The Culture Club. I'm Kirk Sheridan, and things are going extremely well. You obviously saw the 5-3 victory over Maidenhead in the opening game of the season, and I was a little concerned by this one all against Worthing. But then, we've just been on fire. 6-2 against Hastings, away from home, 3-0 at home against Farnborough, 1-0 away at Haven't and Waterlooville. We're sitting pretty at the top of the National League South at the moment after five matches. Best goal difference? Lovely. Gary Beggs has been an absolute revelation. Five goals so far from central midfield. He's got the best average rating of anyone in the division so far. Low Everton has the second best average rating and he's topping the charts for assists. Two quality purchases. And the rest of the squad are looking pretty good. Edwards, Weeks, Agbula, Eastman, Olafiniana, all averaging over a seven. These new boys are, are, are doing pretty well. I'm, I'm, I'm delighted. And all in all, so are the board. They're satisfied with our attacking f and entertaining football. We are working within the wage budget, um, but struggling to repair the club's financial damage, unfortunately. So we're well within the wage budget now, almost £500 a week under because of some of the business that we've conducted since you were last with me. A big contributing factor to that is we've sold Noel Williams. When we brought him in, he was a top-tier player for us. He was by far and away the best striker at the club, but just never really set the world alight. He played 26 matches in that first season with us in the Isthmian Division 1. Scored 11 goals, average of 7.18. A lot more substitute appearances last year as we brought in higher quality players, but just never really took his chances. So he has moved on to the Met Police and we've made a tidy profit. Considering we bought him in on a free, we sold him for £4.7,000. Easily our best ever sale. Then we've also sent Swift and Moody out on loan because they're just not getting anywhere near the first team at the moment. The thing that is still dragging on is this takeover. I thought it was all over just over a week ago. We're on the 19th of September now, and on the 10th, I thought it was off. The talks were rumoured to be rocky. The Supporters' Trust were unhappy with the way talks were progressing. The Supporters' Trust nearly pulled out. But then a few days later, it was back on again. Are we going to get new owners anytime soon? Your guess is as good as mine, because quite frankly, I do not have a clue. What I do know, though, with absolute certainty, is today we are playing Hayes and Yedding United in the FA Cup second qualifying round. Now, this is where hopefully we'll pick up a big chunk of prize money this year. If we could make it through to the first round and get a big away tie... Share of the gate receipts, that would be nice. Now, Hayes and Yedding are the tier below us, so I'm hoping this should be a fairly comfortable victory. So, in goal today, we have Graxic. At the back, we've got Eastman, Agbula and Watson. Vincent playing on the left wing and Hinshelwood, we're giving a try at right wing back because Olive and Yana and Beggs have just got the central midfield spots completely nailed down, so do want to give Hinshelwood uh, an opportunity to show what he can do. And then up front, we've got Weeks on the left wing, Low Everton as that shadow striker, and Edwards playing advanced forward. On the bench today, we've got Toby Bolt, Cameron Williams, Addy, Wharton Bell, Ballinger, and James Hoyle, who is in his last season at the club. This guy has been an absolute legend for us. He's not on the official legends list yet, but he should be. Club record appearance holder. Been with us right from the start. But as you can see here, he is leaving us on a free transfer at the end of the season. We've just outgrown him. It's such a shame, but Eastman, Abula, Watson, 
all higher quality players, Hoyle's basically become our sixth choice central defender. So it's such a shame, but Hoyle is... You know what? Actually, with that in mind, we've got to put Hoyle in the team, don't we? Everyone's still concerned this could leave us exposed at the back, but we're scoring so many goals, I don't care. Here is hoping that we will put in a much better performance in this second qualifying round than we managed in the FA Cup last year. We went out in the first match we played last year, but Agbula gets us off to a cracking start. Three minutes in, Beggs corner, Agbula header, 1-0. Good job, lads. Keep that going, please. Begs with a beautiful ball straight onto Agbula's head. Nobody marking him. He had an absolutely free header. Poor defending there from Hayes, but I will not complain. And Low Everton floats that one into Begs. Oh no, just goes over the top of the bar. Honestly, Begs has been an absolute revelation. I was not expecting anyone to be scoring so many goals from central midfield. He nearly had another one there with a header. But I have picked up two physical giants actually both um Olofinjana and Beggs I can't remember which way round they are but one six foot three one six foot one they are brilliant threats and Beggs is through again and oh he just knocks that one over the bar tried to trip uh tried to trip tried to chip the goalkeeper did make a brilliant run stayed on side just angled his run at the last second there but too much weight on the chip that would have been a quality finish but those are the positions he's getting into all the time oh no Hinshelwood's injured could be serious by the look of things potential foot injury well McWilliams is obviously the man to come on for him Hinshelwood is a, that's a real shame though I was hoping to give him a, an opportunity to show what he can do there but I absolutely absolute faith in McWilliams he's obviously been one of our best performing players for the last year and a half now and uh, he then nicks the ball actually um, off the off the Hayes attacker and Low Everton goes on a bit of a run is he gonna oh my word he plays a beautiful ball to Edwards who can't put it past the goalkeeper but Edwards I thought was running into trouble there he played a perfectly weighted ball Managed to jink past, and just as the defender was coming across to cover, Edwards couldn't get the shot past the goalkeeper. We do have another corner, though. Begs to Agbula, who's free again, and almost a carbon copy. This time hits the post. Low Everton on the ball once again. Is he going to play it through to McWilliams? He does. Beautiful forward one run from that attacking wing back. And Begs is there again. Oh, it's a couple of good opportunities Begs has had, but. Lake in their goalkeeper takes it quite comfortably. Watson cuts out the goal kick though. Low Everton to McWilliams. They're combining well on that right flank already. And oh, another brilliant through ball. Beggs is in again. And off the post again. <laughs> Beggs slides in, studs up against the goalkeeper. Thankfully didn't make contact. Otherwise that could have been at least a booking, if not a red card. But... You can just see, he's just relentless Beggs getting into those shooting positions. What a player. So at, at the moment, because of how well this squad are playing, I'm not feeling the need to do any more transfer business. Although I do have room in the wage budget now, I'm, I want to really just stop being so ridiculous with our finances. Uh, Beggs, oh, the through ball to low Everton. He's clean through here. And, oh, finally, <laughs> third time it hits the post. But this time, it goes in off the post. We are playing some very, very good football this season. It's really good to see. Weeks having a very quiet game, actually, which is unlike him. For the last uh, last couple of matches, he's been much, much more of a, an obvious threat. But today it does seem all about Low Everton, McWilliams and Beggs just making those runs from deep and causing all sorts of problems. And they haven't even had a shot on target yet. Fair to say that is a very dominant first half performance. Can we keep up in the second half? Well, we have a corner very close to the start. Edwards in. Excellent. Edwards is pretty good in the air as well. This is going well. I could be thinking about resting some players here. I want Weeks and Vincent to play themselves into a good performance. But Beggs we could give a rest to. Possibly low Everton as well, actually. And Beggs again. Oh, my word. Look at this. 
but Williams with the free kick across and begs at the far post there. Once again, loses the markers. <coughs> well onside. As Hoyle plays it out from the back to Agbula. Begs once more. Vincent just cuts back in field. Plays it to Hoyle. Nice gentle taking of the time here, boys. Don't need to do anything risky. Oh my word, what a beautiful ball that was from Low Everton. McWilliams cuts back in. It's to Low Everton again, who gets into the box. Plays it to McWilliams. And I think he's going to play it back here. He is. Olofinjana there. Just holds the ball up. Plays it back to Watson. A few options ahead, but plays it across to Hoyle. So we kind of start the build up again from the back. Agbula launches one up, but it's cleared by Barkley only as far as Beggs. Edwards, low Everton. Oh, spots the run of Vincent. What quality vision he has. Edwards, and it's five. We are a good football team this year. I know this is against the team that's a division below us, but my word. Creating all sorts of problems. Oh, what a finish that was. Begs, you've been absolutely amazing, but we'll bring Wharton on for you, and I think we'll bring Bell on as the second striker. If we still play brilliantly with those two guys off the pitch. Oh dear, Lynch, is that a red card? Let's see. Referee's going into the pocket. It is. So not only a Hayes 5 0 down, they're now down to 10 men. We can really ease up, but I don't want to. I want to see what Wharton and Bell can do because Beggs and, uh, and Low Everton are just so important to us as a team at the moment because of the way that they're playing. Any injuries to them, we could be completely scuppered. So what can we do without them on the pitch? Oh, Edwards! That was, was that not a trip? It looked like it was going to be a penalty. Surely Weeks got tripped here. Phenomenal through ball from Olafiniana. Weeks. Oh no, that was a tackle, but it went straight to Edwards, who. And a fantastic block from the Hayes defender. But look at this. XG of three. We've had 12 shots on target, 56% possession. Wow. Just wow. What an incredible performance this has been. And that's three and a half grand in the bank. Walton and Bell, the only players who didn't manage to score above a seven. Begg's got a 9.3. And only played for, well, didn't even play for an hour. Hinshelwood pulled his ankle ligaments and he's going to be out for three weeks. Well, that, that eases a bit of a selection problem for me, I guess. And there we are, three and a half grand back in the bank. You wouldn't, you wouldn't know, really, would you? Third qualifying round draw. We are at home against Salisbury or Dorchester. Dorchester are 18th. In the National League South. Salisbury, the tier below us. So another eminently winnable match. That will be on Saturday the 3rd of October. But I'm not going to show you that one. I'm hoping we'll come through that test with flying colours. What I will show you is our match at home against Boreham Wood. We might be doing very well at the top of the league. But Boreham Wood are still odds on favourites. And they have the best player in the division. So that's going to be our biggest test. And I, for one, am keen to see how we come out of it. I'm also keen to see whether or not this takeover actually completes any time soon. Hopefully it will by the time you join me again. I hope you have enjoyed what you've watched today. If you have, please drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well and turn your notifications on to find out the second the next video drops. And in the meantime, be excellent to each other. I'm Kirk Sheridan. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon.